The pure graft system is an easy method for preparing autologous fat grafts within a closed system that can be performed on the sterile field. The pure graft system is available in multiple configurations for small, medium and large volumes. You are about to see an in-service video for the pure graft 250 system for medium volume fat transfer. With advanced filtering capabilities, the pure graft system selectively washes the tissue and drains the fluids, free lipids, blood cells and other contaminants in less than 15 minutes. This streamlines the graft preparation process and allows physicians to adjust the hydration level of the graft to best suit their surgical technique. The Pure Graft 250 system processes between 50 and 250 milliliters of tissue. The Pure Graft 250 system contains the Pure Graft 250 bag, a 1.5 liter drain bag, an inlet tubing set to add the washing solution, eight tissue access port adapters, also known as tappers for tissue insertion, and two tapper to lure adapters. A few additional supplies are needed for graft processing. These include 60 milliliter Tumi syringes and caps, lure lock syringes, and lactated ringer solution. A syringe stand may be used to hold the filled syringes upright. If a syringe stand is not available, this can be achieved with a bowl or jug. For optimal performance, use the PureGraft 250 system in conjunction with the PureGraft easel and slider. As is commonly known, harvested tissue contains fluids and contaminants. As with all processing techniques, it is recommended to harvest approximately 50% more lipoaspirate than the desired final graft volume. Tissue may be harvested in Tumi syringes or collected in a sterile container and then transferred to the Tumi syringes. Assemble the easel on the sterile field by aligning the grooves and connecting as shown graphically on the easel. Connect the PureGraph 250 to the easel by positioning the hole at the top of the bag into the notch on the easel. Ensure that the clamp to the drain line is positioned near the PureGraft and that it is in the open configuration. Place the drain bag below the level of the PureGraft. Tissue is added to the PureGraft through the tissue port. Adding and extracting tissue through the inlet port using a lure lock syringe increases the risk of clogging and is not recommended. Remove the syringe cap and replace it with a tapper. Attach the syringe to the tissue port and transfer the contents into the pure graft. Repeat until the total desired tissue volume has been introduced. Total tissue input volume should remain between 50 and 250 milliliters. As tissue is injected, ensure that the drain line clamp is open, allowing the excess fluid to drain into the drain bag. As draining slows, note the amount of fat in the pure graft bag. This is the pre-wash tissue volume. Use this number to gauge how much lactated ringers is needed for washing. After excess tissue has been drained, close the clamp to the drain bag. The next step is to wash the tissue. There are two alternative methods for transferring the lactated ringers into the pure graft. Both methods will be demonstrated in this video. The first method uses a syringe. The second method uses the inlet tubing set. You may use whichever method you prefer. Two wash cycles must be completed using lactated ringer solution irrespective of the method you choose. For the syringe method, empty the contents of the lactated ringer's bag into a sterile container and aspirate lactated ringers into a 60 milliliter lure lock syringe. An approximate one to one ratio of lactated ringers to tissue should be used for graft volumes of up to 150 milliliters. Use 150 milliliters of lactated ringers for all larger tissue volumes. Agitate the pure graft manually for about 15 seconds and ensure that the graft is thoroughly suspended in the lactated ringer's solution. Two proprietary filtration membranes line the length of the inside of the pure graft. Tissue stays on one side and only fluids, free lipids, blood cells and other contaminants pass through the membranes and into the drain bag. 
To avoid clogging the filters, it is very important that you do not attempt to speed up the process by applying more pressure. However, you may encourage an active wash by agitating the graft periodically and by making sure the full surface area is taken advantage of. Open the clamp on the drain bag to allow the fluid to drain for two to six minutes. When the flow of waste slows, close the clamp. For the second wash, the alternate lactated ringers addition method using the inlet tubing set is shown. For this method, close the clamp on the inlet tubing set. and spike the lactated ringers bag. Remove the cap and open the clamp on the inlet tubing set to prime the line with lactated ringers. Then re-close the clamp. Attach the opposite end of the inlet tubing set to the inlet port. Once both sides of the inlet tubing set are attached, open the clamp to add the desired amount of lactated ringers solution. Close the clamp and disconnect the inlet tubing set. Then agitate the pure graft for approximately 15 seconds. Then open the clamp to the drain bag and drain excess rinse solution for approximately 3 minutes, depending on the preferred graft hydration level. If the graft becomes too dry, a small volume of lactated ringers may be added to the pure graft to rehydrate the graft. Once the graft is washed, close the clamp to the waste bag. Then use the pure graft slider to guide the graft towards the tissue port for graft extraction. Attach a tapper to an empty Tumi syringe and connect it to the pure graft by inserting it into the tissue port. Extract the graft by slowly pulling down the syringe plunger until the syringe is filled. Use the slider, as needed, to guide the graft towards the port. The extracted graft can be transferred from a Tumi to a Lua Lock syringe using the supplied tapper to lure adapter. First, attach the adapter to the tapper end of the Tumi syringe. Then attach a Lua Lock syringe on the blue end of the adapter.
Now that the two syringes are connected, transfer the graft from the Tumi to the Lua Lock syringe. The graft is now ready for reinjection. As expected, you will notice that the final graft volume is approximately half that of the starting volume. This volume change comes from the ability of PureGraft to remove excess fluid, free lipids, blood cells, non-viable tissue fragments and debris, retaining healthy, viable adipose tissue within a closed system and providing a purified graft to deliver to the patient.